hi there welcome to microsoft intune training series and within this training series i'm going to cover full microsoft intune training and uh, this is the series number seven in case if you have not watched the previous or if you would like to go with other lectures please do check out the description of this video link and within this lecture we're going to cover about enrollment so what exactly enrollment within microsoft intune and how that's going to work to use the microsoft intune features the devices must be enrolled as a first step so enrollment is a process that will have a certificate so when you enroll what happens is on a device you get a certificate and that by using that certificate it uses uh, for the communication purpose to your MDM server so in this case Intune server so which is in a which is in a cloud-based service uh, software as a service format so it's gonna work with that uh, server and the devices can be managed so how it's gonna manage for example you can push the application or configuration you can go for the complaints policies measurement all of that stuff can be done with the help of um, after the enrollment process so enrollment is a first step so let's understand what are the devices that you can enroll so you can enroll on a windows devices and also android phone devices and also apple devices so these are the three different devices that we have so if you remember uh, we discussed for the windows devices like surface pro or any windows 10 install or windows 11 install machines and for android it can be a corporate device or it can be even personal device also the same thing applies here for windows devices if a user coming from a personal device or a corporate given device that also needs to be very important during the enrollment process of course you could even restrict it when it comes to the apple devices you have a iphone devices iphones and ipads and mac devices three different type of devices uh, from apple so that can be managed after the enrollment process so we're going to work very uh, extensively on each type of enrollment process and uh, the steps that are involved in the upcoming lectures but this lecture would focus on type of enrollment and how you can restrict i said restrict the reason being let's say your company might be uh, not ready for open for every every platform let's say you don't want to allow android phones very much possible right you can you might have a customer who don't want to allow android phones because uh, they feel that might be insecure or maybe they don't have any such kind of you know devices they don't want to allow because of some kind of you know security policy that's why it's going to come up a enrollment restrictions which is in this slide i'm going to talk on it so enrollment restrictions has a two types the first one is a device type um, that is when i say device type the type of the operating system as well as which is nothing but the platform we can see and also the version uh, and whether this type is a personally personally owned device or work profile you could actually block it based on that configurations from this chart let's see if if you are trying to allow android enterprise so android enterprise is a operating um, google uh, recommended operating for managing for management for mdm purpose so if you're using android enterprise which we are going to learn within the upcoming lectures you want to block it the work profile or do you want to allow similarly da so that is nothing but the android device administrator which is an insecure way and it is not uh, a modern device management solution in case if you're trying to use android device administrator which we are going to talk in the next lectures uh, if you want to block it you could actually block it uh, by doing here and also ipad ios you want to block it you can block it meaning any user coming from ios or ipad OS specific they cannot enrolled in microsoft intune so the devices cannot be managed similarly mac and mdm or you can allow them but with a standard minimum version of the operating system let's say you want to allow ios devices or ipad devices starting from 14 version maybe you could 
do such kind of you know configuration even for windows 10 also you have that option so these are the device type restrictions now let's talk about the device limit restrictions by default five users i mean five different device types can be enrolled by a single user let's say there's a user called chris he can enroll five type of devices or maximum count as five devices that's a default settings let's have a check on where we have the enrollment options can be configured if you're looking for windows specific devices you could visit windows enrollment and start configuring here and similarly if you go with ios or ipad you have an option for enrollment options you need to configure an apple push certificate followed by a steps that are configured here upload and download and then you need to you know install the push certificate and then the mtm configuration would happens on the apple side and similarly if you are trying to configure even mac and ios one and the same configuration would uh, do the trick for you coming back to the android you have the option here to link your google account with uh, google play so that uh, you can enable the personally owned or corporate specific uh, enrollment process which we are going to work very extensively in the upcoming lecture or you can check out the uh, the lecture which is talking about the android enrollment options and now let's talk about uh, restrictions so you have the restrictions options of uh, definitely we are not ready to open for all type of platforms all type of users to enroll and uh, allow them to you know access from any type of device whether no matter if it is a secure or insecure definitely it would be question from a complex point of view so we would definitely apply the enrollment restrictions so this is where you can create a different type of enrollment uh, restrictions like as we discussed earlier uh, device type restrictions can be applied so device type restrictions are uh, just applying a test policy so you could block like this or you can apply a specific uh, configuration let's say you don't want uh, them to use the personally owned devices or bring your own device you want to block it you could block it so that your company might be offering a corporate device for them so in that case you could you know simply use this kind of you know, configuration and uh, also uh, let's let's also have a look on the uh, type of device limit restrictions as we talked an Indian users that the users can utilize maximum five devices in case if you want to increase you could do that uh, but it all depends on you or your company uh, policies but in our case the default configuration is five devices meaning if a Chris is coming up from a sixth device he cannot uh, enroll he cannot walk from there the maximum uh, a limit is five but if you're interested to learn more about how about from me as your active directory point of view it's it's 50 devices per user uh, from Azure Active Directory, meaning a user can log in up to 50 devices. Uh, that's a configuration from Azure AD point of view, but from an engine point of view, it's a five. So it's a conflicting. The why I did uh, said as a conflicting is the reason being any device, if it wants to enroll into Microsoft Endpoint Manager, then the device must be registered must be enrolled uh, in azure active directly first and then it will come to endpoint manager admin center meaning to intune so that in intune it can uh, enroll so it would be a uh, conflicting uh, as setting but think about it uh, we don't want to allow maximum devices so that what would happen is it might it might come as a security concern also but again it's a business case that uh, what you wanted to take it as a decision on that what is your favorite number to you know limit here as per your design recommendation do you think 10 or 5 please do comment here within this video link and thank you for watching this in case if you like it you can give a like as a thumbs up do subscribe my channel and share within Indian community these video series this will help others also thank you for watching we'll catch you in the next series